Hey, Coach Simmons here. I've been questioned by a lot of people. People asking questions like, what am I smoking on? Why are you saying that Jackson State is going to the national to the championship game? Why are you saying they're going to the playoffs? What's your map, Coach? What's your direction? You ask the right damn person. Want to know why? I am the only idiot on this platform who told you in 2021 the map for FAMU to get to the playoffs. Either you didn't listen or you didn't care. I'm telling you now, Jackson has a similar map. Let's start this off. Buddy Pugh, SC State. Jackson must win the Swag Me Act Challenge, hands down. But you gotta remember something. SC State must also hold up their end of the bargain. They can possibly win their conference. Look at the conference games, not the other conference games. If they win their conference, Jackson will be the conference champion. The hardest one for Jackson State supporters and fans and commentators to understand. Fam, you must beat Jackson. It gotta happen eventually, right? Besides Jackson State and USF, who the hell on this schedule scares you? I'll wait. Yeah, it, it don't happen. Fam, you can go 10 and 1. I only lose USF, represent the East part of the SWAC in the championship game. That's the first two steps. Jackson would already beaten a conference champ in SC State, and the representative, Tiv, whatever, of SWAC East. So far, very impressive, right? What's after that, coach? I'm glad you asked me that question. Because after that, Southern University and a weak schedule. The only games they're going to lose, Jackson, Fam, Alcorn, probably Grambling. So you take that to account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three, seven and four, eight and three. You got to win versus a good team. It's Texas State. No fear in my heart, Texas State. I don't want to hear nothing about last year. All them players gone. You have a whole new roster of people. All transfers who did not play at all last year. Last one, Alcorn State University. Alcorn can start either 2-1 and one or 3-0. and oh. So the miss is very overrated. Alcorn may take over their stands. After that, who do you see beating them? If Alcorn starts 3-0 with a win over an FBS team, they will be going into Jackson undefeated. Jackson will be ranked in the top 10 or 8 in that game. Alcorn, probably 11 or 12. Which means that game will give Jackson State a win over a top 15 team. So you have a top 15 team. The only other team that beats you represents you in your conference championship game. And the top 15 team also happens to be the other team they're playing. And of course, the FBS win. Jackson will be in the top five. With the money, publicity, notoriety, Jackson will be able to host a playoff game. I said it before, trust in coach. I'm out.